This is Living Newfoundland and Labrador coming to you today from Academy Canada Trade College on Harding Road. There are so many courses here, everything from automotive to baking. I'm Erin Sully with your guide to living better. On today's show, we have a chicken recipe your family will love. Taking on a bird as a pet and the basics of making sushi. On today's Living Newfoundland and Labrador. Thinking on getting a new pet, we have tips for bringing a bird into your home. And tips for dogs too. Make sure they get their exercise. I learned that sushi is really easy and fun to make. But first, Chef Todd shows us a recipe for making chicken. By adding a little rosemary, you can turn a dinner into a delicious gourmet meal. Now we have all of our chicken in the bag, and uh, this is what we're going to marinate in. But why just use, is this just a normal plastic bag? This is just your regular everyday bread bag. You can use a Ziploc bag. It's very convenient, very easy to use. What we're going to do is we're going to throw all of our ingredients in here, mm -hmm. and this will help mingle them, and, and all the flavors will marinate really well together, and we don't have to worry use another container. So Aaron, first thing you're going to do is put in your lemon, and you're going to have to crush them a little bit, so just squeeze them as you're, as you're putting them in there. And the acid in here adds a really, really nice flavor to the chicken, and everybody loves lemon chicken. And why are we putting everything in, even the peel? Well, the peel is where most of the flavor is too. Just like if you were using a, a lem making a lemon meringue pie, you would use the zest. So this adds really, really, really well for the, uh, the flavors. They don't need to be crushed too much, but the more juice you take it, the better. Now I've got about three, four cloves of garlic here chopped. Okay, our fresh rosemary. We have about eight stems here. Eight stems of rosemary. Yeah. And why is it so nice to use rosemary? Rosemary is very, very fragrant, very woodsy, and it has a lovely, lovely, strong flavor that really goes well with the lemon. And it's really good, too, because it's easy to grow. You can do it pretty much anywhere, can't you? You can grow it on your windowsill, bring it in the house in the fall of the year, keep it any time at all. Okay, Aaron, so now we're going to put in our olive oil. We've got about a half a cup here. Half a cup of olive oil. Yeah. There you go. That's going to help mingle all the flavors together. Mm, it smells so good already. Okay, so now we're going to add our pepper for seasoning. Pepper, and how much pepper do we have? we got about a tablespoon of fresh ground pepper. Now, if you like pepper, you can put in a little bit more. I love pepper. Now we're going to put in the salt. And what the salt is going to do, the salt has a tendency to draw juices out of stuff. So it's going to really mingle all the flavors together here and add a lot of flavor to it. Now you add the seasoning that everybody likes in Newfoundland anyway. So from here now, we're going to lay it in the refrigerator for about two hours. But you should really keep it on a tray or on a plate or something, just in case you put a hole in your bag and nothing drips down, okay? Okay. This looks a little different from when we first put it in there. So well, now all the salt, the salt has absorbed all the moisture in, into the chicken. Oh. And there's very little oil or anything left here. It's all cased in here. Mm -hmm. We now have all the flavors marinated, and you can see it actually changed the, the color of the chicken a little bit. Now, in the caramelization here is all of the juices and the sugar proteins and everything coming out of, out of the meat, and that's what burns and gives it a really, really flavorful, flavorful taste. If you were to boil this, you wouldn't get the same effect. That's why nobody boils steaks, everybody grills them, right? And it's nice and decorative, too. Yes, it is. Very eye-feeling. And we all eat with our eyes before we eat <laughs> with our mouths. So what we're going to do now is to grill both on both sides. You can take them and put them on this pie plate. And uh, we'll pop it right in the oven and finish it. Okay, Aaron, we're going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes so the chicken is nice and firm. Well, Todd, this looks great. Just let me go over a couple of things I learned here today. So using a plastic bag for marinating is really simple. Using a whole chicken to save money. And there's a little bit of meat for everybody in the family. You have dark meat and your white meat. Yes, uh, Aaron, and it's also an excellent meal if you're very busy and you're on the go to marinate this the night before or just before you go to work, and it'll be perfectly ready for when you come home. Half hour, you got it on the table. Simple as that. Let's have a taste. Mmm. I love it. Lemon and nice. rosemary. Such a good combination. It's nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Rosemary and lemon and roast chicken. 
and feed it. Try making this yourself. We'll put the recipe on our website at cbc.ca slash living and out. We'll be right back with lots more living. Birds can make fabulous family pets. Contributor Paula Gale has the lowdown on bringing one into your home. I can tell my pooch is bored by the same old walk we do every night. We have some tips for shaking up your dog's exercise routine. All that and more when we come back. Ooh, look at that. 